Matt Stepp, Dave Campbell's Texas Football, back out here at the Brownwood 7-on-7 State Qualifying Tournament. Here with the head coach of the Land Passes Badgers, Coach Troy Rogers. Coach, uh, thanks for taking a few minutes to uh, chat with us. Yeah, definitely. It's good to be here. Now, Coach, you guys are playing your first game today against Sweetwater uh, up at the half. Um, I was talking to you off camera, and you definitely uh, – you got, you got a good-looking group of skill kids coming back. Uh, we know it's not real football. The, the, the big boys, the most important guys, are not out here playing. But there's some positive things you can take from 7-on-7. Seven seven. When you're out here watching your kids compete, what, what do you look for? Well, you know, we're real simple about it. We want to see great body language. We want to see our teammates be great teammates. You know, the, the little things like uh, jogging on and off the field, uh, playing the next play, you know, not getting too high and too low emotionally. Those are the things that we really look at. All right, now uh, obviously, it's it's I guess you know from a competitive standpoint, you know you guys don't have spring football, so um, it's a chance for you guys. To, you, you and I guess all the, the the competitive juices get turned up a little bit when there's somebody in a different color jersey in front of you. I guess you you want to see how you know just just get a chance to watch your kids, especially your younger kids, uh, get a chance to compete, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, we try to compete in something every day, and to be able to do this and compete against somebody else, that's what's important. I mean, you know, we really try to stress it's not about what's on the opponent's jersey as much as we have a chance to go get better by competing so let's do that all right now uh, the, the, we just released our 4a rankings in Dave Campbell's Texas football and 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 uh, we did uh, rank you guys number nine in the state in the preseason poll it's just preseason there's still uh, a lot of work to be done are you the kind of guy that gets excited about those kind of expectations or are you like oh man what is Tepper doing why has he got us ranked so high yeah, the, the ladder right there. <laughs> I mean, no, you know, we don't get rid. You know, we we stress about you know playing the next play, the process, and it's not about the scoreboard. It never is. Um, so we don't really talk about any of that. We don't talk about you know you know where we want to be at the end of the season. You know, we just try to we just try to look at the game in front of us and uh, you know to, to get you know to be uh, recognized is an honor, and, and we do appreciate that. We don't take it lightly. Um, but you know, like they say, it's not where you start; it's where you finish. But I guess it does uh, kind of help you know as far as uh, the town. I'm sure when, when the magazine comes out. Because we know everyone in Land Passes gets Dave Campbell's Texas football, they, they better. Right. Uh, but I mean, sure, it's good. You know, the, the towns. I mean, I'm assuming after last year's uh, excellent season, that everybody's pretty fired up about Badger football. No, they are. You know, we, Land Pass is a great community. I mean, you know, we, we get supported even when we're going through one and nine and two and eight seasons. You know, our, our fans never never leave us, and so uh, it, it was really uh, it was exciting for them to be able to get uh, you know have some wins. I mean, we were seven and five last year. You know, came on pretty good at the end of district, and um, you know, so there was some excitement there. One of playoff game has been a long time since we've done that. So there, there is excitement in Land Passes, and I'm just excited for our, our community and our kids because they work hard and they deserve it. Now uh, you were talking. You know, you you're, you came home to Land Passes. You're a Land Passes native. You're you're an alum. Uh, that's not always easy to come home and, and lead at your alma mater. Um, how how proud are you are you of your kids and your coaching staff for kind of getting things turned around and getting getting that shit pointing in the right direction? It's got to be real uh, satisfying and fulfilling for you personally. Well, it is. You know, I mean, it, you know, it, you know, I've, I was gone for 18 years of my coaching career, and then come back to Lampasas and, and to where I was, you know, graduated. And, and it's, it's an honor to do that, you know, and it means a lot, you know. I mean, no matter what those 18 years, wherever I was coaching, I was always looking at the scores to see what the Badgers were doing. Um, and so um, to be able to come back here and, and try to get some pride going again and get the program going where it should be, and you know, and, and we're it's a work in progress. You know, we, we still have a long way to go to where we want to be, uh, but the, the kids have bought in. And the community's bought in, you know, from our superintendent all the way to the school board to the the teachers and the you know the community in general have bought into the direction we're going, and so that that makes it exciting. All right, now final question for you. We're we're gonna have some fun here, as uh, you know, uh, you know the Dave Campbell's crew. We love to eat, and that Land Passes is a cool town. Uh, I've been to Storm's Hamburgers many times. It's a it's a favorite. So I need to know when when, when we come to cover a Badger game in Land Passes at at that that, that beautiful stadium that you guys have yeah. in the middle of town. It's a, it's a unique place as well. Uh, where, where's the Coach Rogers pregame and even postgame if you got one meal recommendation? Where do we, where do we need to go eat? Well, you, you, you already said the staple. Uh, you're, the staple being storms, but I'm going to tell you, Eve's Cafe uh, on the square in Lampasas, German food, excellent. I mean, you, I mean, it really is. It's a hidden gem. Everyone in Lampasas knows about it, but I'm not sure who else does. Uh, but you come to Lampasas, you need to go hit Eve's Cafe. It's great. What's your go-to order there? Well, any of the schnitzel. Okay, the schnitzel. Yeah, the okay. schnitzel. Definitely right. the schnitzel. Coach, appreciate your time. Uh, enjoy watching your kids compete today. Congrats on all the success at Land Passes, and uh, good luck in 2019. Thanks, sir.